Hey guys, so I'm working on a wind speed, wind direction, and temperature system for Altos. I wanted to run it by you guys to see the thought. So basically in this little IM, IMGI up here, um, this is the current wind speed, current wind direction, and current temperature. This is in Celsius, and this is a vector. So this is pointing like mostly uh, right, x, positive x, and mostly um, well, like this way. I'll just show it to you. So you go in here, demo, wind zone, kind of like that. So that's this guy, and then um, um, the wind speed, direction, and temperature changes over time by hour. So basically we roll a random number for each hour. Um, this, is, this is showing the, the next 10 hours in game time. So if we scrub this, you'll see that the wind speed is gradually changing. So this is the previous one at 10. So when we're at 10, the wind speed is 8. And then we're going to interpolate from 8 to 3.2. You can see that the clouds slow down. And then once we get to 3.2, over the subsequent hour, we're going to interpolate from 3.2 to 0 0.6. And now that we're at 0 0.6, quite slow, we're going to interpolate from 12 o'clock to 1 o'clock, from 0 0.6 to 0 0.2, and so on. So that's kind of the concept. And the wind direction and the temperature do the same things. The temperature is based on an average temperature at sea level, and then it sets the current temperature automatically based on a roll, random roll, um, that occurs within a range. So I looked up the average, the average like um, diurnal temperature variation is 10 degrees Celsius. So that's what I set it as. So you can see it's varying by roughly 10 degrees between the average temperature. And so if we scale this average temperature, it'll just scale all these along with it. Um, but something cool is that with the temperature, like here in this demo scene, I have this snow texture applied to our terrain shader. So let me show you that terrain shader really quick. Where did I put it? Here. So our terrain shader has a couple different outputs. It has a ground, snow, and beach textures. These are some CC0 textures that I got from Polyhaven. And uh, basically we interpolate between the ground and the beach based on the beach level. So you can change the beach level here. See, it's kind of a similar color, but kind of like that. And then it interpolates between those two factors and the snow factor based on the altitude and the temperature. So the temperature decreases with altitude um, and it also changes over time. So uh, you can see here like at ground level, we have a 2.9 degree temperature. But then as you progress up, the temperature reaches zero right around here and um yeah and then over time as the temperature changes the snow level also changes so you hear the temperature is getting warmer colder warmer again super cold and then it's getting quite hot and, then cold. and that's all integrated into the precipitation system so right now let's make sure negative and then we'll make sure that our rain and snow is enabled and then we'll turn on if we want to do this mm, yeah right and just the temperature a little bit cool so you can see that it is is snowing because the temperature here is uh, the temperature at sea level is negative one so the temperature here at this point that my camera is at is something less than that um, but you can see as we change the time and the temperature increases then that snow automatically changes to rain um, it's pretty cool and then obviously if you turn off rain then the rain goes away as well so I'm planning to also add this feature for the precipitation too. So it'll be like wind speed, wind direction, temperature, and precipitation, and um, maybe for cloudiness as well. So let me know what you guys think. Um, and if you like this type of content, uh, definitely follow for more and make sure to like the video. Thanks for watching.